Okay, let's go for the presentation of Growth Data. So Growth Data is a new tool to characterize spatiospectral patterns of plant growth. So to use Growth Data, we, we can use two types of sensors. We have color sensor and depth sensor. Uh, with a color sensor, we can compute color temporal analysis. So as an example, the evolution of the color of segmented objects. And also, we can compute the surface temporal analysis by uh, segmenting uh, the, the objects we want to analyze and, uh, and, co and, uh, and compute uh, the surface. We also have the depth sensor, and it allows you to, to compute depth temporal analysis. And, uh, and here it is a big uh, improve of uh, our computing. Uh, and we use depth acquisition since uh, 2012. So uh, to have uh, to have depth to have uh, the heat map of depth along the time, sorry, we uh, placed a sensor uh, at the top of the canopy, and we took an image each uh, 15 minutes, and we have uh, after that the heat map of the canopy uh, obtained by the depth sensor along the time. Uh, with that new uh, information, uh, we can compute uh, more features to analyze our growth. Uh, for example, we have the, the harmonics, the energy of the signal, and the harmonic distortion rate. Um, to uh, use uh, the app Growth Data, we have to do some pre-processing uh, previously. Uh, the first step of this preprocessing is to detect the region of interest uh, with template matching at time zero. After that, we have to track the ROI uh, along the time sequence. And to finish, we have to export final data as a patchwork of segmented tracked objects. So here we have an example. Uh, we have a canopy of hydrangea, of hydrangea sorry, uh, on top view. And we want to analyze uh, the evolution of the stain of the of uh, hydrangea flowers, and we have here one image per day. So uh, the first step is to do the template matching here, and after some thresholding uh, and morphological um, processes, we have the ROI detected. So here, ROI is uh, the flowers of hydrangea. When we have detected the ROI at time zero. Uh, here we want to track this row, so uh, we we get a window on the next image. Image, sorry, we do template matching and we have uh, the image at time one. By iteration and modification of the template at each time, we uh, we do that uh, for each time and we have the evolution of the flower along the time. Uh, to finish our processing, we have to segment uh, the, the flower from the background for each image. Here we use uh, two means and also uh, thresholding, and we have very good results. So we have an example of final patchwork of flowers growth here uh, at, the, at the bottom. So let's go for, uh, for a demo, and if you want more information, uh, you can go to the GitHub repository here, and if you want to try uh, the online demo of the app, you have the Docker image and ChinyApps.io servers, uh, which allows you to, to use it online. Uh, let's go for the, for the demonstration. So here we are, we are on the user interface growth data. So we are at the home page. And we have uh, the choice uh, to treat color images or depth images. Uh, we have three steps for color images. Upload uh, the, sequence, the sequence images. Uh, analyze one image or analyze a sequence. And for depth images, we, can, we have to upload the image, the sequence, sorry, and uh, we can analyze the sequence. So let's go for color images. So here we have a color example with salads on the view. Um, so we have some information uh, about the image, the, about the sequence. Uh, let's go for some classical tools. So we have the histogram of color layers and the, the 
the representation of uh, color layers. So here we are uh, maybe more interesting uh, interested sorry in the green layer. We have the slider on the left uh, which allows you to fix the time. So here we have nine uh, time different times and we can uh, go to a uh, major part of data visualization and sequences with the 3D histograms. So here we have we are at time one and we have uh, a, a histogram with very uh, few um, uh, points, uh, green points uh, in, the sign, in the point cloud, sorry. And uh, if you go to uh, time nine, so the, the last time, we have a very big part uh, in the in the green with a very big variability of color uh, in the in the leaves of the salad. So it's very interesting uh, the, the evolution of color of the leaves here. We also have the tool uh, which allows you to segment the salad from the bottom, from the background. Sorry. Uh, and with uh, that segmentation, uh, we can uh, compute and uh, estimate the plant surface over time. So we do that segmentation for each time, for each image. And after that, uh, we, we have uh, the number of pixels uh, which cover the, the image. And we have an evolution of the, of the covered surface by the salads on the images. We also have uh, a 3D evolution of the average color, so we can sele select s uh, uh, both uh, all the pixels of the, uh, of the image or the segmented pixels of the image. And here we have an evolution uh, to the green uh, along the sequence of images. So uh, let's go to the tool uh, comparison between two times. Um, so we have two masks, blue and red, and uh, and we we have the wh where it's pink. It is the when the masks are confused, and we have uh, some estimation of um, of uh, percentage of uh, of evolution of surface. So here we have uh, plus ten percent uh, of pixels covered by the salads. So let's go uh, to characterize depth um, s uh, sequences of images. Here we have a canopy of hydrangeas on top view, um, and we want to characterize the growth. So uh, we have on the left the, the average uh, of the canopy height over time. So uh, it is uh, distance to the to the sensor to the depth sensor to so the camera here, and um, we can here uh, see uh, different patterns. So the daily uh, growth uh, circadian patterns or higher frequency patterns. On the right, uh, we have uh, a 3D uh, uh, frequency analysis with uh, trend. Uh, so it is a daily trend, uh, daily energy, daily uh, harmonic and daily harmonic distortion rates and we have the evolution over time. So here I, it, used, uh, it uses sorry, uh, the tools that we explained uh, previously um, on the slides and uh, the use of uh, depth sensor is very important to well characterize the growth of plants and I think it is a very um, important tool um, in addition to the color sensors. Okay, thank you for your listening. Uh, if you're interested in that app, don't hesitate to visit the GitHub repository and you can also contact us to have more information. Thank you.